what's up everyone and welcome back to another of our YouTube videos. So my name is Dave and today we're going to be doing an unboxing, actually going to be doing two videos, so two unboxings of Reptazoo products, all right? Um, I really first fell in love with Reptazoo when I got this enclosure right here for my jumping spider. So this thing, I just love it. It's got a little magnetic top and um, these two tabs of pull outs where I can lift the whole thing off that I want to. Um, but anyways, you can check out some videos that I've done of this on my Instagram channel. There'll be a link down below um, that you can follow nuclear amphids, right? So let's take a look at the first Reptazoo product that we're going to do an unboxing for. So um, I do have to let you know, this is considered um, a paid advertisement because they did send me uh, this product free of charge. Um, so they wanted me to do an unboxing video. Um, so we're going to do an unboxing video and then we're going to use it for a little bit and then do a review of it. All right. So I will do an honest review, even though they sent me this product. Uh, I think that's only fair, right? Um, and then of course, if you have any questions or if you want to purchase anything that I have here, I'll have a link down below to it as well. All right. So, all right, I right, went ahead and cut the packaging open. So the first thing that we have is a deluxe thermostat heat mat. All right. So, let me get my old man glasses. I love these. <laughs> They're just reading glasses, but all right. So one of the first things that I want to talk about when it comes to heat mats is how many of you all have bought a heat mat that doesn't have a thermometer on it? Like you, you can't set it. You just plug it in and hope that it's the right temperature for your animals, right? So um, I know we have. So this product actually helps you to where you don't have to worry about this. So I'm going to read some stuff off of it, right? So then we're going to do an unboxing. Um, so, uh, dual protection, more energy saving and easy to set. It's a six by eight inch, 20 to 30 gallon tank use. All right. So 20 to 30 gallon is what they're recommending for this one. All right. It is 11 Watts all right? and it, it emits heat without light. Okay. So I'll give me a little view up on that again. Right. All right. Cool. So um, easy to use at the bottom of the tank uh, with the backing adhesive. It's easy to stick on the side if you have that type of setup that you want to do. Built-in temperature control smart chip and then an independent adjustable temperature controller. And then you can do Celsius or Fahrenheit and you can switch between the two if you need to. All right. So uh, some stuff on the side um, does have some, some temperatures that's recommended. Let me see if there's a... Okay, so these are going to be in Celsius. So And I don't have the conversion. Um, off the top of my head but anyway so I, I know a lot of people out there have um, boas so it's recommended 28 to 30 degrees celsius uh, ball pythons 28 to 30 uh, let's see tree frogs 26 to 29 degrees celsius pac-man frogs i've been thinking about getting one of those <laughs> 28 to 30 degrees celsius hermit crabs Euromastix is listed on here 30 to 33 um sulcatas uh, which i have a sulcata tortoise uh, my wife does but and then one of the uh, probably most popular reptiles that you'll see is uh, the bearded dragons. And it's 32 to 35 degrees Celsius is what the recommendation is here. So um, deluxe thermostat heat mat, a variety of sizes. Uh, they have different sizes that, that you can pick um, and can be trolled at 20 to 50 degrees uh, centigrade, suitable for reptiles and gardening. So. Um, not just reptiles, if you have like a, a, a seed starter tray and you want to be, put a heat mat underneath of that, uh, you can definitely use one of these for that as well. So um, dual temperature protection, uh, there we go. Yep. And smart control chip. All right. So I think that's pretty much um, all that we have to read on the outside of the box. So let's take a look and see what it comes with. All right. All right. We'll let uh, Adam there, he's watching us do this video as well. <laughs> I'm a Fallout fan, so all of my pets have uh, Fallout names. And so he's Adam. So there we go, there's that. Put that there for you. All right, so um, obviously there's not gonna be a whole lot in here, but what we do have, we'll cover. Nice little packaging, plastic bag there. Um, this is the adhesive that you can stick to it and then uh, put it on the side of your tank if you want to. I mean, you could stick it, um, 
on there and and put it on the bottom of your tank but depending upon the tank that you have actually you might need to because your the bottom of your tank might be recessed and you want to have it right up against it so you might need to use it on the bottom as well so all right um, so there's your adhesive and then um, the device itself and then you have um, their instruction manual from Repizoo living in nature um, which so it does cover um, the different models that are in here. So this is the 11 watt. Um, so packing list, it specifies heating mat and thermostat controller, one set and instruction manual, one piece, one set, right? Um, so it has a product overview in there, some operating instructions, shows you how to hook up, you know, how to kind of attach it to your setup that you might have and, um, and then how to operate it as well. Uh, so uh, it looks, Pretty simple from what I can see here on the thermostat. So we'll get a view up here so you can see it. So you've got an up arrow, a down arrow, a set, and then your um, uh, digital readout there at the top. So I think I have, yeah, I have a plug in here. So let's just, um, let's do this. Let me plug it in so you guys can see what it looks like. Get up and move my, my coffee cup. I love my coffee cup. <laughs> All right, so I do have a plug-in right here. All right, so we're plugged in and it says 25 degrees Celsius on it. Now I'm gonna move the camera because uh, you don't care to see me at this point. So I'm gonna put it down so you can actually see what I've got here, all right? So let me do that for you. Let me move you down here. All right, let's see if that'll stay. That should stay. All right, cool. So um, you should be able to see that. So it's currently says 27 degrees Celsius. I got some other lights here that are causing some problems, but let's take a look at the, um, it says press on both the up and down switch between, to switch between uh, Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit. So, um, press on both, maybe let me try it over here. Okay, you, okay, so you gotta hold it. So you gotta hold down on both of them for about two seconds and then it switches um, to degrees in Fahrenheit. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that. Um, setting the thermostat, uh, temperature value, press the set key for three seconds. All right, and it flashes and then um, press the up and down to adjust it. So let's say that we wanna have it down at like 84 degrees. Um, and then after the adjustment, press in the set key to save it. All right, so obviously it's flashing, it's dropping its temperature because it wants to get back down to the degrees that we set. Um, the work indicator lights up to indicate that the heat mat is heating. If the light is off, it means the, the heat mat has reached the temperature setting and stopped um, heating up. So. Um, the little light that was over here on the side, it's not lit up, so it's down at the temperature that it needs to be at, all right? So that's kind of nice. Whenever it lights up, you know it's heating up, and when it's off, um, it's, it's, it's off, all right, until it needs to heat back up again. All right, so um, that's really uh, the unboxing video, plus I guess we'll call this kind of like an unboxing and a first look at it as well. So um, hopefully you can see that. There we go. That's a little bit better. So I set it for 84, it's still dropping um, to get down to that 84 degrees. But yeah, so I'm gonna move the camera back up here and let's see if you can see us from this view. All right, cool. So yeah, that's the unboxing video of the Reptizoo Deluxe Thermostat Heat Mat 11 Watt. All right, so um, the different models that they have, in case you're curious, are um, 8 watt, 11 watt, 23 watt, and 36 watt. So those are the different models that they have, four of them available to you. And I will have a link down below to my Reptazoo affiliate um, page. So if you want to go on there and, and, and shop and, and make any purchases, um, it does help me. It helps my channel. It uh, helps me provide better care um, to my animals uh, that I have as well. I've got, um, currently I have uh, my dart frog fallout which uh, there's some videos of her on there um, i have uh, my uh, jumping spider here my bold jumping spider uh, adam 
and then I have um, isopods as well, which there's um, isopods in every single one of my um, enclosures. Um, and then, but I also have a, uh, a ghost mantis, uh, Meyer. I had two of them. Unfortunately, they had some bow chicka wow wow, and uh, Meyer decided that that lurk was uh, a good dinner. <laughs> so, um, even though uh, ghost mantis are more communal than others, and apparently they're not supposed to do that as often, um, but well, they did. So. I failed to remove him in time. Anyways, that happens and that's the circle of life, right? So, all right, cool. This is the unboxing video of um, the heat mat. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, please hit me up down below. Um, we'll be installing this um, on one of my daughter's tanks, more than likely replacing one uh, that does not have a, th a thermostat on it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. As always, God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.